So we're back for another brand new video today. Hope everyone's having a great day. And in today's video, we're gonna be dual mining Ethereum and Lithium. Things in crypto are moving super quick at the minute and obviously there's been loads of dual mining capabilities happening recently with dual mining obviously what I just talked about and then also dual mining ETH and TON. I'm going to be doing an ETH and TON video very very soon, going to be coming out in the next day or so and without any further ado I say we get straight into this, let's go and look at profitability, let's go and look at how to do it on a Windows based system and all that good stuff. So let's go, come on. Okay, so we're over here on my mining rig and before we start, I just want to say what I'm doing is I'm running the LHR cards in their own command window and then I'm running, this is a mixed rig and then I'm running the other cards which are not LHR cards in a different command window. I found this to be the most stable way of doing it on Windows. I found if I didn't do this, basically what happened was when the 3070 Ti's hit the LHR lock and they throttle back. Basically what it did, it was bringing the other cards hash rates down as well. So let me know in the comment section below if there's a different way of doing this, I would love to know. But I'm going with the two window approach and it seems to work really quite well. So the top, you can see here, this window here, this is just running ETH on these cards. And then on this window here, this is where I have two LHR 3070 Ti's. You can see that we're running Ethereum and we're also mining a Lithium on Hero Miner. And you can see that I've been running this for 13 hours and it's been running fairly well. You can see I'm getting roughly about 53, 54, 52 mega hash on Ethereum and I'm able to get around about 500 mega hash on a lithium and that is around about for 130 watts. You can see over here the wattage. I have tried to play around with the second card in terms of reducing that wattage down a bit but from my research I've just been finding that basically when you reduce that wattage down it kind of takes your hash rates down a little so mainly on ethereum. So you can see the cards running there. You can see the temperature actually on this card's a bit high in the minute, but you can see how it fluctuates. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure. I wouldn't actually take these temperature readings here. I would uh, go and take temperature readings from a different software. But yeah, so that's, that's what we're getting. We're getting about uh, 500-530 mega hash on a lithium and we're getting 53 mega hash on ethereum. Just to know that is on T-Rex minor 0.25.2. So let's go and look at the profitability and what is this actually doing for us. So let me just show you the settings. This is just what you'd kind of expect. The only real difference, obviously you have to put in uh, whatever, whatever pool you want the mine to and you want to put in your own address. You can see here that what I'm basically doing is I'm selecting card 1 and 6 and they are the 23070 Ti. So that's how I'm doing it and you're, you're running your uh, light hash rate uh, other algorithm there. So it's very, very straightforward and then what I do is for the other window I'm just running a standard Ethereum command line. So yeah, that's all you have to do and it runs pretty damn stable as you can see from these values. So if you are running in Windows, this is an approach you could take if you have a mixed rig. So we have a PNY 3070Ti. Do note the date because that's obviously important in terms of your profitability for today. And you can see dual mining here, just here. You have your lithium rewards here. You have your Ethereum rewards here in dollars. You have the dual mining electricity cost, which is for dual mining 230 watts, and that works out to be 0 0.55 of a dollar. And then if you go and calculate the profitability, that then works out to be 2.46 dollars. And then what obviously we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing that to just normally ETH mining on this card. So as of today, you would be getting $2.28 and your electricity cost, uh, which is 150 watts, would be 0.36 of a dollar. 
and that would work out to be a profitability of $1.92 per day. So as you can see, if you go and quickly do the math on that, that is 28% increase in terms of profitability between dual mining and normal mining. So you can see obviously dual mining it is quite attractive. Obviously you are mining to a smaller coin, so there is more price fluctuations there and obviously there's more uncertainty, but if you're just selling day to day or you are speculating and you're wanting to hold for a while, then obviously this is very, very encouraging news. Obviously a 28% increase from basically doing nothing, just triggering your rig to do a dual mine is phenomenal. So that's really, really cool. And I gotta say, I'm gonna be doing a video on dual mining ETH and Ton as well. And we're gonna see what the profitability is there. So what do I think about mining ETH and Alethium? Well, I think obviously you can see the profitability. There's a big increase if you're selling currently. So that is super attractive. And even if you don't believe in Alethium in general as a project, well, you can still profit from it. So definitely I would consider doing so if you're not already. Obviously there's a consideration about mining into Ton as well, which you need to consider. You could kind of say it depends on what sort of project maybe you have a little bit more belief in as well, if you're looking long term wise. But for me, will I be mining a lithium? Definitely, I'm gonna be definitely mining some lithium, and this is a great way of doing it, using your LH cards to their max and maximizing their profitability. So was it easy to do as well? Yeah, it was pretty damn easy to do as well. Definitely if you're not dual mining at the minute, I would definitely suggest that you do dual mine. It's gonna be increasing that profitability. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you found this little short video interesting and please consider subscribing. There's gonna be much, much more content coming just like this. Please smash that like button. It really helps the channel out and I really much appreciate it. And all I gotta say guys is have a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye just now.